since uh, the last, was it nine months ago at the last BlizzCon, uh, we've been really hitting up uh, the Zerg, polishing them, trying to get them up to the level of the Terran and the Protoss. Going through every unit uh, and giving them the death animations, we have a variety of fire and blood and all that sort of stuff. So hitting up a lot of the, the sort of final, final things we need to do on the art end. All of our in-game cinematics are done by our actual cinematic team, so that's why they look so freaking awesome, right? Uh, and in the actual single-player campaign, we've been devoting a lot of our artist time to just creating everything we need per mission. So if each mission, if the mission needs to have some sort of a reactor that you go to and you set a charge to to blow up, we're not just going to take a piece of art that looks like reactor and then that's your mission objective we actually go ahead and we'll make the reactor and make unique deaths for it and even if it only ends up being in one mission that's all right we're trying to make each one of these missions and tile sets that these missions on unique we're really pushing the the, the level of detail per tile set now we worked with some of the designers to where as the lava is rising we have little critters unburrow from the low ground and rush to the high ground and then burrow in your base not not big Zergling ties, you know, like little ticks or whatever. But it's that sort of level of detail that we're really looking to push on all these new missions. And, you know, if it's a good idea, it, it goes in, right? I mean, if it's a good idea and everyone's like, yeah, then we're going to do it. The decals are mostly uh, designed, like, so you'd be able to see them. So you may have this really cool decal idea, but when it's on a unit or a building, you're not going to see it. So you kind of have to stick to kind of some big, bold shapes. You know, some of the classic Terran signs, like the Dominion sign you can really see, or some of the Protoss uh, tribal designs that they have, you can see those. And so we're coming up with a lot of real designs like that, you know, StarCraft-centric. But you can bet that there's going to be some goofy ones thrown in there, maybe some, some Warcraft or Diablo-type faction things thrown in there, just for fun. I, I believe the style that we have for the bulk of our Blizzard games None of it is very realistic. Even our, our most realistic stuff, the cinematics, they're all based off of the in-game characters, right? So it's still going to be giant guys walking around in hulking metal suits for StarCraft. We still try to keep the classic examples of big silhouettes and bold colors and then just push the realism of almost the texture itself. So the metal looks more metal and the grit and the grime looks like realistic grit and grime, right? But we're still going to have those kind of classic Blizzard proportions. So um, any surprises about StarCraft 2 that you'd like to hint viewers on? Yes, we actually have a new race in StarCraft 2. The race to get it done now. Yeah. I knew you'd find your way here. Eventually. 